was how they got the win that told me it was their most impressive win of the season. It was only by one point, but y'all got to use context when you think about the Eagles' schedule. Remember, the Eagles got a whole bunch of wins, but who did they do them against? You beat a bad Lions team, a bad Jags team, a bad Cardinals team, a Cowboys team led by Cooper Rush, a bad Steelers team, a bad Texans team. Then the commanders shook up the whole world when they beat the Eagles because it appeared as though we knew the blueprint to beat the Eagles. But the Eagles were so impressive because yesterday, things started bad. 50 yards rushing is what Jonathan Taylor had. 50 yards rushing in the first drive. But the Eagles said, you know what, we're going to show that up real quick. Keep in mind, they only averaged 15 yards of drive rushing allowed in the first half of their season. So when Jonathan Taylor gets his 50, you think it's going to be all bad. Eagles defense, they put their foot in the ground. Then Jay, uh, Jalen Hurts, he came out there and he put his foot somewhere else. Fourth quarter, Jalen Hurts, 49 <laughs> yards rushing, 36 yards passing. Ooh. Eagles out for the Colts, 14-3, yeah. to three, and they got busy. It was the Eagles' most impressive win of the season, not because the score was super wide, but because Jalen Hurts in the fourth quarter put the team on his back. That's right. Because the Colts in the first quarter, they thought they had the Eagles down bad. Because Jalen Hurts had to overcome a 10-point deficit. Because there were clear coaching errors, and the Eagles on the road against one of the hungriest teams in football, led by a first-time head coach. All right knew what they had to do when they got it done. LaShawn McCoy, Ooh, that you was were great, watching. That was a great job. Appreciate you, my But can you hear that, though? What's that? MVP, MVP. <laughs> they said MVP in Philadelphia, baby. Okay, we're going to talk about that later. But now tell me yeah. this. How impressive was the Eagles win over the Colts? It was so impressive. MVP, Jalen Hurts. Listen, we entered the fourth quarter down 10 points. 10. Let's not forget that. And everybody talked about, oh, can the Eagles win, come, uh, can they have a come from behind win victory? Can Jalen Hurts do it? Can he do it? Yes, he did. In the NFL, you're going to have games where you don't play well. You're going to have some ugly games, some ugly wins. And he found a way to win. Let's think about this for a second. The Colts, just Saturday's first uh, coaching game, right? Mm-hmm. They win the game. Oh, my God. Now everybody loves him. Everybody hated the hire. But soon he won. Oh, he's the answer. So now his first game at home. It was a, first of all, did you know there was a sellout crowd? Yep. Everybody was there. Everybody named Mama. Everybody in the city went to the game. It was a loud environment, and Jalen Hurts at the end of the game found a way to win, and now they're screaming, MVP. Woo! I like that. Joy, where are you staying? How impressive was that Eagles win? So impressive. <laughs> oh, man. I, t- I didn't want to do this every single week with the Colts, remember? I was going to play the here long we, game. Here we are, though. They made me do it. <laughs> you made me do they it. They made her. Where is the excuse machine this week? Mm. It was very quiet it was? as the game ended. Everyone was like, oh, right. the internet's gone. It's broken. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they're not supposed to beat the Eagles. Yeah. Uh, no, it was, it was a very impressive win. And I can, you know, removing the sarcasm that I could obviously spill for the next 45 minutes, we'll talk about how good this Eagles win was. Everything you just said is true. You are not always going to play a perfect game. That's right. Mm-hmm. That's right. Sometimes you're going to struggle all game. The teams that find a way to climb out of that and get that win – are great teams. And this is why I like the Eagles so much. When people push back on what the Eagles are, this is why I defend them. Because they're a complete team. Not only did Jalen Hurts put this team on his back, Shady's absolutely right about that, but this defense was so impressive. It was looking bad early in this game. But to be able to get stops, to to contain the run, which is a problem, right? Fix that. Persevere through this game. Come back and win the game on the road. It's a very impressive win. I don't want to hear anything about how bad the Colts were. The Colts were a a coaching phenom and about to shake up the world last week with a win over the Raiders. So I don't want to hear anything about how they should have beat them by more. What did I say earlier? The the gap between great and good and bad in this league is very small. That more is so close. It's, It's very small. So this was a very impressive win to me for the Eagles. I think I'm hung up on the word impressive. I think that's where I get lost here. Because, like, impressive. Lost. Impressive is what the Cowboys did. Yes. Impressive in a, is in a, in a forty way. to three. Yeah, sure. It, it, it's a nice moment, and actually, I'll I'll call you back. I'm I'm doing my homework here on Speak. <laughs> I'll call you back about a month. We were worried that the Eagles weren't going to be battle tested. That yep. they weren't going to have That's these right. moments. That's right. This is what that is. Like, you need moments like this, and it was very encouraging to see Jalen Hurts respond. Like, when nothing else is really working, Colts outplayed them for three out of four quarters. You go to your quarterback and you say. Win us the game. And Jalen Hurts did. And that's what happened. That's very nice. Good job, Dave. Is it impressive, though? Is it impressive that you needed fourth quarter heroics to get over 
a middling Colts team with a bad offense. That beat the a Chiefs. Terrible. Okay. That beat the Chiefs. Okay. That was two months ago. Hey, oh, hey, the, hey, the Colts hey. are not a good team. I see what hey, you're saying. Colts are not a good team. It's hard. It, you'd be hard pressed to say the Cowboys win was impressive and the Eagles win right. was impressive. That, those two things should not be Fair. the same. I think the Cowboys win was like dominant, embarrassing. Yeah. Uh, the Eagles win was impressive because, Dave, I'm sitting here like, wait a second. After you give up 50 yards rushing in the first drive and you gave up a ton of rushing yards a week before, which is what cost you the win against the Commanders, you're freaking out. You're like, oh, like, shh. Bingo. <laughs> like, in the mind of the player on the bench, you go back to the sideline, you're looking at your tablet, coach is taking you through the plays, and you're freaking out. Because you're sitting here like, okay, can and Sue and Linville Joseph, the players that the Eagles acquired last week to play defensive tackle, were they the right guys? Right. Then you're sitting there like, Fletcher Cox, defensive tackle for the Eagles. Can he do it? Man, we just gave up 50 yards in one drive. On average, there are 12 drives a game. Right. It's going to be a 300-yard rushing day. So for Dave, them to, in the middle of the game, put the fire out. And then for Jalen Hurts to – because remember, context matters, y'all at home. Context matters. Jalen Hurts goes down the field. A.J. Brown fumbles. Yep. 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 It's 13-10. to 10. Jalen Hurts was about to go down the field and likely take the lead. A.J. Brown fumbles. Colts got the ball. They go get three points. Yep. They can get six because the defense held them to three. Yeah. Now it's 16 to 10. Jalen Hurts goes down the field again. Again. Game on the line and now scores. So they overcame even shooting themselves in the foot to still win the game. That's what spoke to me, too far. And when you say impressive wins, right, or, or, or the game in general, like, so for the Cowboys, yeah, it was impressive. They beat down the Vikings. Killed them. Everything yep. that went well for, for the Cowboys, it went well. And everything that went bad for the Vikings went bad. Well, let's switch it here with the Eagles. Everything that went bad for us went bad, right? Driving down, then you get a fumble. Yeah. You know, so it's like – That's two weeks in a row But now. this is my thing. To find a way – in the NFL, there's games where you should lose them games, right? But the good teams, them games that should lose, they find a way to be impressive and go out there and get that win, yep. and that's what we did. I think that Joy brought this up earlier, and let me hone in on the point. I focus most on this, and I think this is what a lot of people watching football miss. Shady, let me know where you stand. I'm here, interested to hear where everybody else stands. It's not about how high is your ceiling. The most important thing to me for an NFL team, how high is your floor? Mm -hmm. On your bad days, yep. how Ooh, good do you, there you play? Go. How you look on your bad when day? Bad. If, you, if she's looking bad on her bad day, you got a wife for <laughs> I'm sorry, I was going to with it. But I get what you say. Show. <laughs> I get what you say. Different show, but I feel you. Yeah, yeah, you know I get, what I mean? Yeah. Reality you know, TV, right, right. right. I'm still here with you. Don't leave me hanging. I'm still here with you, uh, big dog. Like, how do the Eagles look when they wake up in the morning and they got crusties in their eyes? Right. And they still look good enough to win the game. Vikings on their bad days look atrocious. Yeah. Get beat by 37 points at home. Get beat down Great by point. the Eagles. But the Eagles on a bad day, when A.J. Brown fumbles in the fourth quarter when you're trying to come back, they still win the game. And that is why I lean into the word on the left side of the table, impressive. That's a really good point. And it goes back to what I said about the Cowboys' ceiling. I don't think the Cowboys have proved that their floor is as high as the Eagles. But this is still two weeks in a row. Fumble issues have been a thing. And I wonder how much the Eagles are going to miss Dallas Goddard as well. Like, I don't think Jalen Hurts is having as much fun out there without what Dallas Goddard brings in the screen game and in the intermediate game. Mm -hmm. and look, they won the Having game. Catch you right. They won the game. I'm not. I'm. I'm really not trying to hate. I promise, Shady. <laughs> I think You're not trying to hate. It. It was. What's the, what's what's a good word? Maybe enlightening. It's enlightening okay. Okay. to see them. Win like this. And again, with adversity, you know, we've been saying all year, like, oh, they're never behind in the second half. Can they do it? Well, they did. I got to give them credit for that. Thank you. I just don't know if I'm impressed. Joy, three weeks in a row, the Eagles have been tied or trailing at halftime against the Houston Texans with the whole world watching. I believe it was a tied ball game. Last week against the Commanders, I believe they were trailing, if not tied. This week, obviously, they were trailing. How concerned are you? Because there does come a point where it's not cute anymore. Like, coming back from behind is all fun and games until you just don't come back and you're just behind. How concerned are you that for three weeks in a row the Eagles offense doesn't appear to be that same offense you saw against the Steelers when Jalen Hurts was resting by the fourth quarter? Well, I, I don't expect every game to be like that, though. So I, I, I don't – I think three-game sample size is a is a good sample size. Like, Josh Allen having that three-game stretch was concerning. Correct it. Okay, they did that. That's encouraging. So I think it's something to pay attention to. You can't ignore it if it becomes a pattern, which, is, which it is at this point. Mm -hmm. But they won two of those three games. And one of those games that they lost was a divisional opponent who they see right. all the time. Exactly. So I, I, while you should pay attention to it and it's concerning, and I am interested to see how they look without Goddard, you have to persevere through these things. 
So, uh, I mean, th- what everyone's telling me about uh, Jeff Saturday and the Colts, this should be the most impressive win on the, on the schedule. Mm-hmm. Uh, for, forget, the, forget the Vikings win. This is like, this, is, this was the Super Bowl. She is not wrong. Look, the Eagles impressed, <laughs> but there's somebody who didn't. Justin Fields, he's racking up rushing yards, but he's also racking up L's. They lost again. It might be time to worry about one of the young stars of the National Football League. Might he be. pointed to me.